So hi guys, it's me again. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make a paper fortune teller. Now I think I'm pretty sure you can see that I already started with my fold, but I started. I you need you would need a pair of scissors and a piece of paper. I was using printing paper. You could use notebook paper or any kind of paper as long as it's paper. And um, um, for I I started out with a rectangular piece of paper. So I'm going to show you how I had it. Okay, so I had it like this as a rectangle, but um, I wanted it to be a square like I have it now. Um, so I had to fold it into a triangle, like so, um, like that. I had it folded into a triangle, but um, you'd see that there was some extra paper, like right here, so I had to cut that off with my scissors. So I cut that off, so now I have this. And then what you need to do is, since you already have the fold right here, that you can see, right here, you'll need to um, go over it again, just for, just so you can be precise. And then you'll go on the other side and you'll do the same thing. And then you um and then you uh have this cross that you can see right here or this um addition sign or uh T or uh, uh X, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so you see what we have that. Okay, so you get one of your corners and then bring it into the middle of your cross or T or, you know, again, whatever you want to call it. You bring it into the middle where all the lines meet and then you do that all around the, um, your fortune teller. All around the square that you've made, again. Uh, since I already did it, this was a very quick process, but it will take you a bit longer than it took me. Again, you want to precise it, make it precise again, um, actually. So y then you, what you're supposed to do is get two fingers, or as much as you want, and put it in the middle of your um, diamond that you just made. And now you um, flip it over, and you will have this um, square. So now what you do is take the, all the corners of your um, square and bring them in like you did it to, uh, to the um, to the other side that you were that we were just working on, and then do that all around. You want to be precise so your um, the end your fortune teller will look nice. Just perfecting it, um, taking it a little longer, or a little quick, it will probably take you a short amount of time, but, okay, now you have this. So what you'll need to do is find the line where these two meet, and then flip, flip it, um, to find the flap. Just a second, guys. Um, just find the flap and flip it over. It should be about a rectangular shape like this, and then now you do you open it up again, and then um, do it back again like this, like so. And you like you want to press it down and crease it. When you're done, you get this. Now I made all, I already made one earlier, and it looks like this. I ha what you're supposed to do to most fortune tellers is um. You see the squares that we made earlier, like right here, right here, right here, right here. Yeah, those. You have to put um, colors on them. You could either draw a color or just write one down. And um, I ha you see here that I have blue and purple, yellow, green. Um, so yeah, and um, um, the way you put your fingers into the fortune teller is you get your um, your um, pointer fingers and your thumbs and put them into the two slot two of the slots like so and they go in here and then you get your other um 
point your finger and keep on there, but then there's that other side. Then you can just put your fingers around in there, um, getting comfortable, and um, so yeah, that's how you do it. Then you uh, you ask the person to choose a color, and um, in this case, let's pretend uh, um, somebody chose blue. Okay, so you say B L E U, and you have to spell it out like I just did, and um, um, ask them to pick a number. Let's pretend like they um, chose four, three, and then so you do one, two, three, and uh, you um, keep it where it landed, and then ask them to pick another number. And um, the number that they choose this time is, like, you open it up, and then you find the number that they chose. Pretend it's two. Okay, so you open it up, and um, you open up the flap, and um, right here, or um, wherever you put it, um, you want to put it in this area, is where you put your fortune. Um, if you put one fortune under each flap, then like the number, the two numbers that are um, on top of that flap, they'll both be the same fortune. What I like to do is, uh, you, you, I get um, half of the flap, um, like in this case it's two, so I get half of the flap and I'll write the fortune right there on the flap on that side of the flop. And when the, it's the, when the person chooses that number, I cover up the other side and read this part to them, the part that um, I, uh, the number two, the, instead of the number one. So I'll do this. Right here where your numbers are though, you can put any numbers you like. Really, really you could do, um, I just did it from one to, one, two, three, so on and so forth, all the way up to eight. And that's how I did it. You can do it any way you want. You can do 30, 60, 90, any numbers that you would like. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and that's how you make your fortune teller. Um, you can comment if you like or sub sub subscribe. Um, so thanks for watching this video. Bye!